Hi, this video will show you how to compute the mass of an inhomogeneous lamina. What is the meaning of lamina? It is a flat object which is thin enough to be viewed as a two-dimensional plane region and we call this lamina. A lamina is called homogeneous if its composition is uniform throughout and inhomogeneous otherwise. The density of a homogeneous lamina is defined as mass per unit area. So if delta is the density, m is the mass, a is the area, then delta is equal to m over a or you can see that m is equal to delta times a where a is the area of the region delta is the density now what happens if the lamina is inhomogeneous that means the density is different at different point so there is a density function delta xy so if you look at a small little area as shown here and you compute the mass let's say the mass of this small little area is delta m the area is delta a and the density at this point is delta xy then delta xy is limit of delta m over delta a as the area delta a tends to zero then here come the mean point the mass of a lamina in this case you can find it by using a double integral this is equal to a double integral of a density function over the region R. Why is it so? Imagine that you have a region R and you partition the region, that means you divide the region into, let's say, n little small area like this. Now you pick one little area and try to find the mass of this little area. Now, the mass of this little area depends on the density around there. So the mass of this little area, let's call it delta mk, is equal to the density at that little area times the delta ak. And now the mass of this region is summing up the mass of all this little area. So m is equal to summing up all this delta mk that n. so k from 1 to n now if you let n go to infinity that means you have infinitely many small little area then the process of limit of n goes to infinity taking the sum of this little area and this is the definition of a double integral let's look at an example the total mass M of a thin lamina of variable density PXY covering a region R in the XY plane is given as the integral of PXY dA over the region R, where dA is dx dy or dy dx. Example, let's say the density of a thin plate bounded by y equal x square and y equal x is p of x y and equal to 2x plus 1 times y plus 3 to find the total mass so the answer is total mass m is equal to a double integral of p x y over the region r and this time i use dA equal to dy dx so to find the total mass this is the same as Evaluate 
But time multiple, 2x plus 1, time y plus 3, dy dx over the region R, where R is a region bounded by y equal x squared and y equal x. Let's look at what the region will look like. It is a region bounded by y equal x squared and y equal x. So y equal x squared is a quadratic curve, y equal x is a straight line. So the region bounded by these two curves is this part. And this is the region R. So once we know what is the region R, we are going to find out what is the limit of the integration now. We must find the outer limits for x first. Now based on the diagram, I know the outer limit is going from x equal to 0 to x equal to 1. You can also get this by solving the intersection of y equal x square and y equal x you will find that x equals 0 or x equals 1. So the outer limit is from x equal to 0 to x equal to 1. Next, we are going to find out the inner limit. The inner limit what we do is draw a vertical line inside that region and you'll find that for this vertical line the lower boundary is y equal x square the upper boundary is y equal to x so the inner limit for y goes from y equal to x square to y equal to x So now, we know the limit for y is y equal to x square to y equal to x. So now the next step is to do the evaluation. We must do the inner integral first. inner integral is the integration with respect to y so you treat x constant therefore 2x plus 1 is also a constant factor so integration of 2x plus 1 times y plus 3 dy now notice that if you have a constant times y plus 3 integrate with respect to y you can pull out the constant Indicate y, get y squared over 2, indicate 3, get 3y. Apply this, I have integration of 2x plus 1 times y plus 3 dy is 2x plus 1 times y squared over 2 plus 3y. The limits of integration is y equal x squared to y equal to x. Substituting the upper limit and lower limits into the expression, so you put First, you put y equal to x into the expression, you get x squared over 2 plus 3x. Then, you put y equal to x squared into the expression, you get x squared squared over 2 plus 3x squared. And then you take the difference, you find that it becomes 3x minus 5 over 2x squared minus x power 4 over 2. This is the inner integral. You expand the product, you'll find that this product is 2x times 3x, you get 6x squared, 1 times 3x, you get 3x, then continue the, in the multiplication in this, in this manner, you'll get all together 6 terms. And then combine them, you get 3x plus x over 2x squared minus 5x cubed minus x power 4 over 2 
minus x power 5. Hence, the integral after you have obtained the inner integral, it has become integration in one variable. Apply the formula x power n dx is x power n plus 1 over n plus 1. Integration of 3, 3x three squared over 2 plus 7 over 2 x power 3 over 3 minus 5 x power 4 over 4 minus x power 5 times 2 times 5 and minus x power 6 over 6 where x from 0 to 1 let's simplify this in 3 over 2 x square plus 7 over 6 x cubed minus 5 over 4 x power 4 minus 1 over 10 x power 5 minus x power 6 over 6 where x from 0 to 1 put in the limit now then you get 3 over 2 plus 7 over 6 minus 5 over 4 minus 1 over 10 minus 1 over 6 for x equal to 1 and then you put x equal to 0 in all the terms you get 0 I find the answer is 23 over 20 they will give you the mass of the laminar that is the end of the recording Thank you.